Hey guys, my name is Nate, and I'm the Odd Outdoorsman. Now, it's fall, and winter is coming. Um, and I've kind of brought you guys to my backyard to talk about thermals, uh, your thermal layer that you wear in the winter. Now, I'm not going to tell you which brand is the best, but I'm going to tell you what brand I use. Um, I get L.L. Bean. Um, I've, I've explained in my uh, review on the Continental Pack, uh, the reason why I go to L.L. Bean a lot is near my office, uh, and they have a lot of good quality gear. Um, and it's right down the road from my office. So, I've been using for the past year L.L. Bean uh, Long Johns or Thermals. And they, I've used two different types of theirs. They have a powder dry one, um, which I have two shirts, uh, uh, two long sleeve shirts of, uh, in their powder dry medium weight, and a pant layer, uh, me powder dry medium weight, and I have a medium weight pant layer wool. Um, now, it's important to have thermals in the winter. Now. I've been able to stand in 20 degree weather in pretty much a shirt and thermals. That also comes with a little bit of training as well, getting your body ready for the winter. But thermals really do help, they keep the heat next to your body. Um, and in the winter, whenever I go out in the woods, this is the first thing I put on. Let's car pass. Um, now, price wise, these are. I mean, the powder dry one, uh, the powder dry one at L.L. Bean is about 30 to 40 a piece uh, for each part, whereas for wool, you're going to be spending more about 60. But they're very good quality. Um, I've used the thermal, I've used the powder dry ones plenty of times. I mean, and they're really warm. Um, I've actually woken up sweating in these a couple times, uh, which actually these help wick away that sweat, which is great. Um, they're warm, uh, they kind of hug your body. Um, I just really like them. Uh, my downside I have with, now when you're picking your material, I've, as I said, I've used to powder dry and wool. Downside of powder dry is after a while they really catch the We'll call it the scent of your body. I, I think it's part of the bacteria. It, it like can catch the bacteria from your body and kind of enhance it. And after a day of wearing these, these are pretty ripe. So they need to be washed immediately. Um, I'm not saying it's a, I mean, you, you should be washing these regularly, but when you're in the woods, um, and if you're trying to go lightweight and you're trying to reuse them, it, it, you know, it's up to you. Now they're wool, a little bit more expensive, uh, a little bit warmer. Um, they're made from, I believe if I remember correctly, it is merino wool, 100%. These, I swear, are as smooth as cotton. They're not itchy, they're comfy, they're warm. I. I really do like these, and actually I prefer to wear these over my powder dry ones. Um, the other benefit of the merino wool ones, they don't smell. Uh, wool is naturally antiseptic. Now, as I said, I really do recommend if you are going to be doing any winter camping or late season camping to pick up some form of a thermal. Uh, generally you want to be looking for, I mean, these are polyester, I believe, or nylon or something. Um, for the powder dry, it is just so I can give you guys the right, the right material. It is made out of polyester. These are pretty comfy as well. They actually make really good PJs. Uh, generally, they're polyester or wool. Remember, if you're going to be near fire, polyester can melt a little bit. So sometimes wool's better uh, for that but polyester also is a little quicker to dry, and it's lighter, um, though these wool ones are pretty light. 
Um, right now, as I said, it's getting down at night to in the 20s, 30s. Uh, so if I was to go out camping now, these would be with me. Um, so I really do recommend you get pick up some thermals before the winter. Um, and if you're looking for a decent brand that I like, check out LL Bean. I'm not paid for this at all. Uh, this is not a paid sponsorship uh, video. I am just saying, I like them. I've used them. I've bought them multiple times. I will buy more if I do more winter camping. They're wonderful. They're expensive, but they're wonderful. And honestly, you get what you pay for. Um, I don't know what brands you guys like. Uh, if you have any that you recommend to me, please put them down below. Um, and I love to hear different types that people like to use and why they like to use them. So, my name is Nate. I'm the Outer Outdoorsman. This is just a kind of quick little video on what thermals I use during the winter. Uh, the yellow bean uh, underlayer. Um, and you have a good day.